A former top aide to President Trump arrested today in connection to an alleged fundraising scheme centered here in the borderland. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. Steve Bannon accused of fraud related to his role in a campaign to help finance a privately built border wall. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields in Sunland Park with the details. You may remember last summer we told you about the private group We Built the Wall who promised donors they would use every donation to build this border barrier behind me. Instead, investigators say leaders kept hundreds of thousands of dollars for themselves. Where's the money? President Trump's former chief strategist Steve Bannon pleaded not guilty in federal court Thursday, accused of ripping off donors trying to fund a border wall. Bannon arrested on a business partner's yacht in Connecticut. Three others also arrested, including Brian Colfage, the president of We Built the Wall. Bannon joined the group and told donors and our cameras every penny of the more than $25 million raised would go toward the barriers. This company is, is doing to build the wall. It's all to support President Trump and what President Trump's trying to do to get a physical barrier on the southern border. Bannon came to the borderland in June 2019 for a fundraising event, asking supporters to donate to future border projects. I said, listen, why don't you put a group together and just flip this and go build the wall yourself. The charges allege Bannon pocketed over a million dollars from We Built the Wall, spending some on personal expenses. Colfage told KTSM last summer they were fundraising for more barriers along the southern border. Our goal was a million dollars, and then over the, over the next month we wanted to raise right around $10 million. According to the indictment, Colfage took more than $350,000 of donated funds and spent it on a boat, personal tax payments, and a luxury SUV. President Trump distanced himself from Bannon Thursday, but longtime ally Chris Kobach told us last year, we built the wall at the president's blessing. I have talked to the president in the last few weeks about this very construction site and told him all about it. Uh, he's very much in favor of it. Bannon was also charged with conspiracy to commit wire fraud and money laundering. Each charge carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison. Reporting in Sunland Park, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Stephanie. And as she just mentioned, President Trump today keeping his distance from his former advisor. I haven't been dealing with him at all. Uh, I know nothing about the project other than I didn't like, when I read about it, I didn't like it. I said, this is for government, this isn't for private people. Steve Bannon now added to the list of former Trump associates in trouble with the law, alongside the president's former personal advisor, Roger Stone, former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, former campaign advisor, George Papadopoulos, former campaign advisor, Rick Gates, former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, and Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen. All new at 10, El Paso Police.